The purpose of this video series is to provide instructions for the installation of a variety of upgrade components designed for the MKA-1919 shotgun. Aside from a few minor details, most of the procedures and parts shown are applicable to the MKA-1919XN and the BR-99. Before starting the disassembly procedure or performing any maintenance on your shotgun, remove the magazine if it is attached and inspect the chamber to be certain that it does not contain ammunition. The initial objective of the disassembly is to separate the upper receiver from the lower receiver. Let's begin by removing both the front and rear sights. The two receivers are held together by a union bolt that can be accessed by removing the butt plate from the stock. This will require a Phillips screwdriver. The union bolt can be loosened with a socket extension. Now the receivers are ready to be separated. However, please note this very important step. The bolt handle must be held back approximately three quarters of an inch to prevent the bolt from making contact with the feed ramp. If the bolt returns to its rest position during the separation of the receivers with the force of the recoil spring, the feed ramp on the lower may be damaged and possibly ruined. The fit between the receivers is such that the lower will probably require a tap with a soft mallet in order to loosen them from one another. They should slide apart easily after doing so. Next, loosen and remove the retention nut from the front of the handguard. Then, remove the end cap and the upper and lower halves of the handguard, revealing the gas system. The central component to the gas system is the guide rod. The gas bypass assembly is attached to the guide rod in front of the gas lug. The gas lug directs pressure into the gas system below and also serves as a housing around the recoil piston, which pushes against the drive block. The drive block is attached to the bolt carrier, which, when at rest, is held in a forward position by the tension of the recoil spring. The next step is to remove the gas bypass. While we're at it, let's identify these parts too. The assembly consists of a bypass spring, a spring cup, and a locking nut. The next part to come off will be the barrel. However, it needs to be released from the upper receiver by holding the bolt handle back about three quarters of an inch from its forward resting position. Sometimes it's necessary to twist the barrel a bit in order to loosen it from the receiver. Once the barrel has been removed, the bolt handle can be removed as well. Doing so will allow you to take the bolt carrier assembly out of the upper receiver. Prepare to remove the guide rod from the upper receiver by clamping the guide rod into a vise so that you can rotate the receiver. You may need to heat the receiver in order to soften the adhesive around the threads where the guide rod is attached. You may also need to use a tool for extra leverage, but be careful not to use too much force as you could damage the receiver. That concludes the disassembly procedure for the MKA-1919.